Here's why everything you're learning on YouTube from business advisors and gurus and stuff like that, including my stuff, by the way, is pretty much wrong and won't work for you. So I want to dive into the details and let you know what are my thoughts. I want to try this different style of video. I won't break anything here, but uh, and yeah, I hope you can see me, but let me show you guys what are my thoughts, what I think about that. And why you'll basically stay stuck um, where you're at unless you do those things. So let's get to the point. I don't want to waste your time or mine. Here's the thing, guys. I don't care what strategy you follow. If you have the wrong mindset, energy, and focus, it just won't work for you, right? So many people, they come to life, they think that, okay, they want to, like, if you follow my channel, I'm showing you how to buy businesses. They think that if they have the A, the one, the two, and sorry for my writing with my fed they think they have the one two three steps if they'll have all those steps and they'll know exactly what to do that's enough and that will get them successful and because that's what you're thinking that's why you're failing because you think that that's what you're missing you're missing this one thing or that thing but it's not about that it's about much more than that it's about having the right fundamentals as a person as a human being because i mean there's many ways to make money out there right now Obviously, there are tons of ways to start a business. Many people will teach about how to start a consulting business, a Shopify, social media, real estate business. I show people how to go out there and buy existing business. It doesn't matter, that's the strategy. People will make money here and people will make money there. People will fail here and people will fail there. The reasons that people fail, in my opinion, is that, like I said, it's because you don't have the fundamentals, because it's because you, so it comes down to two things. It comes down to, first of all, the time that you work versus learn, or if to put it more specifically, it's about the time that you consume versus the time that you produce. So for example, let me show you. So there's consumptions and then there's production. Productions is all about creating, creating things from nothing, creating out of nothing, something out of nothing. It's about working, it's about doing actions that can actually give you results, focused actions, high level activities. Like right now, I'm creating this video, it's about production, I'm producing something from zero. I'm not just out there consuming. Consuming stuff is all about learning, going out there, reading books, watching more videos. And again, it doesn't matter if it's my videos or someone else. If you're consuming, most of the people that I know try to get into business, they're consuming 80% of their time versus producing. And when you consume most of the time, it's gonna be really, really difficult for you to be successful. So that's the first thing. I mean, you just don't produce enough. And the thing is that you can't produce without the right energy, focus, and beliefs, without the right, I guess, fundamentals in place. And that's before we even talk about strategy, right? Obviously, you gotta make sure you have the right strategy, ideally you have the right accountability, support. If you don't have that, that's going to be really difficult. So I'll put strategy here. Strategy should be really small though. It's literally this one. It's all about what can you do to do more of this, more of the production. This is what comes down to. And obviously if you have the accountability and you have the support, then when you produce with the right strategy, that's the key. The problem is that most people can't even produced anything because they don't have like i said the right mindset energy beliefs and they're not willing to or able to delay the gratification so let me clean that um so the way it works is like this guys if you want to have the right energy focus and you're able to delay gratifications um like it won't work i don't care what you're going to try if you're going to try to be a consultant you're going to try to buy a business it just won't work so I want to give you some basics on things that worked for me to help me over the years to build myself the right, um, the, the right fundamentals so I can produce more, right? And it comes down all to your daily uh, habits and routine. So unless you have a routine, like a usual routine that you follow and fall back to, it's going to be really difficult. You've got to get to a point where you're falling back to a routine that is beneficial to you. So you, in my opinion, you gotta have a time where you're waking up, ideally the same time every day. You gotta have a time where you go to sleep, ideally the same time every day. 
and then it's all about what you're doing in between, right? So some of you guys have a job, some of you guys have businesses, it doesn't matter. So let's assume all of us have, let's say, a few hours of work, right? Obviously, we sleep. So let's say this is all, this is sleep. This is sleep time. Then you have some, somewhere here is work time, right? So for everyone, the first thing that really helped me is having some kind of a morning routine. Unless you have a way to start your day and end your day. So it's a morning routine and a night routine. Those are the blocks to begin with. For me, what worked for me and many of my mentors, uh, it's all about meditation. So I wake up, I immediately meditate. Then I focus also on my vision. I focus on what I teach my clients. It's all about having a brag, brag book and a gratitude journal. Uh, so just start your day with getting back to the right emotions. For me, there are tons of ways to do meditation. I've done Vipassana. I've been f f for events twice where I didn't talk for 10 days. I don't think that's necessary. I think you got to do those something daily. I think it's an amazing experience if you want to go, go and try that. Uh, but I think it's more about the habit of continuing to do it every day. For me, the work of Joe Dispenza definitely changed my life. So check it out. And not just these books, but the actual meditations after you understand the theory. That's freaking changed my life. Highly recommend it. Being grateful. Find things to be grateful, guys. If you're not able to be thankful for what you have right now and appreciate and tap yourself on the back for the things you accomplished already, I mean, it's going to be really difficult to appreciate things you're going to have in the future. And I don't care how many cars or houses or money you're going to make, it won't be enough because your baseline won't be good enough and grateful enough. So you can always find something to be grateful for, guys. I mean, just the fact that you have an internet and can listen to this video and can watch this video and have eyes and have ears and everything is working and you're mostly healthy. And some of you, maybe you don't have 100% health, but whatever you have, you still have that. Be grateful for that. You have an internet connection, you have a roof probably above your head, you have food in your fridge. And even if you don't, you have much more than many others out there. So be grateful for that. And if you can buy, find gratitude right now, it's gonna be really difficult for you to grow. Um, I also really think that it's important to put yourself in a state where you feel like you're winning every day, right? If you don't feel like you win right now, it's going to be really difficult for you to feel like you win in the future. So that's that. Um, so vision, I think it's super important to have some kind of a 10-year vision, three years, one year, 90 days, one week, and what you're going to do today. And ideally, with your night um, ritual, you also plan your tomorrow. So you plan your tomorrow before that, when you're in a logic state. Not you, when you wake up, the, the, the last thing you want to do is like, like for me, like the beginning of my day, and again, everyone got their own thing, right? For me, the beginning of my, my day is all about me. It means that everything is on airplane mode, no, no messages, no emails, nothing. This is me putting it into, and I'm talking not just about the beginning ritual, I'm talking about the work as well. So the work time here is all about me. What can I do to produce the one most important thing that will actually move me forward the most towards my vision, right? That's why here I have my vision. After that, the second part of the day, let's do it like this, and I hope you like my awful art, is <laughs> all about we. And at least that's in my business, right? Because we're working a lot with people, businesses. So we got to have some conversations, emails, meetings, things like that. So that's the second part of the day. But the first one, guys, this means everything is on airplane mode. I'm not talking to anyone. Um, and only when I'm getting to lunch, let's call this food. Let's make it like a foodie thing. I don't know. Let's say this is food, right? Food time. Before that, it's all me. And obviously, I hope you don't eat junk all day and that's actually one of the next we're going to come into guys if your workout and diet is not on point it's going to be really difficult to have the right energy so you could remember guys here it's all about production if you don't produce and you always consume it's going to be really difficult and it's going to be really difficult to uh to not consume to basically produce if you don't have the right energy and the right energy starts here and there's another w here which is workout I wake up, I meditate, I put myself in the right state, then I work out, and then I start to work. 
and diet guys i mean eat clean i'm not a specialist in, in diet but i'm trying to, to do my best with that right to eat clean eat healthy don't eat processed food don't eat too much sugar or whites or anything like that i mean yes I, I i do understand that you can get results and lose weight and gain muscles without having the perfect diet but at least for me what i found is that the more clean my diet is oh, oh, sorry for whatever going on here the more clean my diet is the better uh the more focus i have right uh, let's see if i can handle this no idea what's going on here uh, but yeah need to learn how to clean that sheet as well so so that's the razor size love it so i hope that makes sense guys that's the beginning right you gotta have the fundamentals a morning routine a night routine unless you have that really really difficult so that's that's that um what else for me next one like i said plan to more today so let me just do a summary right we have let's do like this we have the morning we have the night we want to plan to more today in the night some kind of a night routine ideally don't touch your computer or anything in the last hour um, and just unwind and forget about your work otherwise for me if i'm still and i can be on work all day long i just fucking love my work if i'm going to be focused on working in the last hour i'm just not, I'm just not going to fall asleep and then it's going to fuck me up in the morning tomorrow so for me i wake up either at five or six i, tr I try to uh, then do meditation uh, like i said vision gratitude and brag book then work out gym or for me it's yoga or some martial art and then work work all about me time first right so the beginning of the day everything is on offline and then it's all about we time now other things that really help help me is in the night routine also write your winnings for today so end your day with again gratitude and winnings write that down to yourself what did i do today that was a win and even the smallest things guys if you're in the space of buying businesses like me and you follow those stuff maybe you made a call to a business owner maybe you made a call to a financial institution maybe you send a letter um, send a message something write it down as a win get yourself into that state of getting used to win even for the smallest wins get used to celebrate wins right now and you'll celebrate them all the time and god or whatever you believe in will find your ways to um, to win some more now when you have those basics i think you can have yourself amazing amazing energy right but then there are a few extras that i found so one of them is first of all focus on one task until completion so in me time remember this is me time don't do many things guys have a list of what you want to do but then do one finish that one and only after you finish that one go into two you finish that two go into three don't do one two three at the same time it's gonna fuck you up right so that's that uh, for me also sleep is really important so sleep six to eight hours whatever is comfortable to you but don't be tired guys sleep another hour if needed otherwise you're going to be fucked up and you won't have energy um, and you'll just need too much coffees or stuff like that and then just it's not going to work well um, for me what really helps me is also daily reminders so i have around every hour on my phone i have alarm clocks on silence so i don't have any noise just reminders on my phone asking me questions like who do i need to be how would i feel uh, what would i do right now those kind of questions and all related to the person that i want to be so how would it feel so for you if you want to own one two three ten businesses in the next year ask yourself how would it feel to own ten businesses in the next year how will it feel to go what would i do now if i already had goal uh, what kind of thoughts would i have right now if i already had your goals every hour i have those reminders and i try to get myself back into the emotional states as much as possible um what else the other stuff for me is really all about elimination guys if you're not eliminating stuff so like social media uh, this fucking zoom again so social media like facebook guys youtube instagram seriously i don't care if you unsubscribe for my stuff if you want to be successful guys you gotta do less of that pick one or two mentors well, pick one or two mentors in every um, field so let's say pick one or two in business one or two in health 
and just focus whatever the fuck they're doing and unsubscribe from everyone else. Otherwise, it won't work. And if you feel like it's me, stay with me. If you don't feel like it's me, go in with someone else. But seriously, it's just gonna fuck you up to hear too many different opinions. And it's gonna hurt you. You need to find someone who can give you everything from A to Z, like all the process, all the details. So don't go to someone who's just giving you one step or this, the third step and you feel like you're missing step. Go with someone who will give you everything and you can have access to, to him and his team as much as possible. And pain if needed as much as needed. And again, I don't care if it's me or anyone else, but you got to have that mentor. Um, what else? So eliminate. It's all about elimination, guys. It's about cleaning your life and focus just on that one thing. Have the blinder on your main focus. Um, another big, big thing that helped me, I believe, is donations. Um, now, again, I don't, believe, I don't know if you believe in God or the universe or whatever the fuck you want to believe in or angels or freaking Buddha or Allah or Jesus. I don't care. I, I believe in something. And for me as well, I'm not religious or something like that, but I know that there's something bigger than us. And if you want to go even more spiritual on the woo, I believe everything we have is, is not really ours. We are just um, messengers, uh, if that makes sense, or agents of that energy. And all we can do is just run with it. And when you live from your heart, I really believe that that's when the universe or God will come to, to help you because you're doing things not just for yourself, but for others. And when you donate, uh, for me, it's up to you guys. You can, for me, I, I believe in like 10%. And when you donate, like your energy is going to be different. And to be honest, it's much more fun. It's just fun to donate. You'll see when you donate money to people who actually need that and you actually know where that money goes, it's much more fun than like, I don't know, driving a Lamborghini or something like that. So, and you'll see for some reason when that happens, you'll never be worried about money. Now, some of you guys say, hey, you know what? I'm freaking broke right now. I don't have money. I can barely finish my next month. Guys, do that and you'll never be worried about money. I'm telling you, that alone can change your fucking life if you implement that. Pick a number, a percentage, and every dollar that's coming in, you can pick a dollar just from your profit. It's all good. Every dollar that's coming in, put a small percentage, even if it's 1% right now, into donations. I don't care. Give tip better for people, give a better tip, give people who sing on the street. If you have more money, give to specific uh, needs and priorities. And, and I don't like to donate to big institutions because I don't know where the money goes and I know that they're basically acting like businesses. I like to donate specifically to people to take one person here, one person there and really uh, give them value, but everyone in their own thing. I'm telling you to do that, it will fucking change your life. And if you want to read more about that, Read the book by the name of Diamond, Diamond, uh, I wish I knew how to fucking write in this shit. Ah, there you go. Text, I got some text here. Diamond Cutter and Karmic Management. So Diamond Cutter is the story and Karmic Management are the principles from this book. This is a, bit a book about a guy who built, a, I think a 200 million business or something like that with this um, principles read that it's going to change your freaking life guys it's all about giving in the end of the day we don't we don't take anything with us when we die so unless you're willing to give just i don't think it will work if you're going to be selfish and only think about yourself it just won't fucking work so when you optimize all those things this is all you see all those things you can pretty much control those things this is all in your responsibility what do you do to wake up what do you do when you're going to die there's still going to be challenges here there's still going to be challenges, there's still going to be failures, people still going to say no, still going to make offers on businesses and you're going to get rejections, but you'll understand that it's all just a fucking game, right? it's all fucking bullshit and it doesn't matter and the more you focus on having the right fundamentals, have the right morning, the right night, have everything, eliminate as much as possible, eliminate that shit. Don't watch too much. Consume. Produce 80%. Consume only 20%. Your life is going to fucking change, guys. And I wish I knew those things when I was uh, younger, like 10 years ago. I know I would go so much faster. And um, I know my life would be different completely. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. How long we're doing that? Like, it's pretty, like, 20 minutes video. Let me know in the comments below what worked for you. That's probably I probably forgot some things that I'm doing, but that's kind of like from 
literally from the, the back of my mind of kind of like things that are working for me that I know that I wish I knew in the past. Um, I'd say also here, focus on one thing, guys. If you have a strategy, if you want to make a decision, do you want to start a business? Do you want to buy a business? Pick someone who can give you everything, A to Z, A to Z, with everything, with the nuances, with the details. And then if you got a program, and again, I don't care if you join my program or someone else, but you got to have someone who can give you the support and accountability. And show you what works right now. Like right now we're in 2019. Check what's working right now, not what worked 30 years ago. 20 years ago I mean can you do the same stuff that worked 20 years ago 30 years ago and eventually figure it out yeah but the question is how fast do you want to do this and how many opportunities do you want to miss out because you're using outdated strategy that perhaps just not working as well right now so again use me use someone else but make sure you have all those things and when you have the fundamentals guys I'm sure you'll be much more successful and I really hope you got some value from this video I hope you enjoyed this new freaking style video I just like the idea of uh, paintings and stuff uh, it's very all over the place but for me it just helps me understand see the full picture so let me know what you think in the comments below let me know what worked for you if i'll have i'll come up with a few more things that comes up to mind maybe i'll create some more organized videos of these things but let me know what you think in general about the idea that yes you need strategy you need accountability you need support but before that you need to have the right fundamentals as a person so you can even produce in the middle of your day so I hope that makes sense, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and got some value. Um, if you're new in this channel, just like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think. And if you want to learn more about buying businesses and be, have more strategic stuff, just watch my other videos and see the description below for some more free training. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in a bit.